So I just spent uh, almost two hours doing a live stream where we talked about all of this stuff. And if you want to check that out, there's a link in the description down below. Um, today's video is some very bad news, in my opinion. But I don't think that it's the end of the world for Stadia. So what is this bad news? Well, uh, earlier today, um, Phil Harrison posted on the official Google blog that... Google is shutting down Stadia Games and Entertainment. Now, what does that really mean? Well, Stadia is really two things. Stadia is a cloud platform where you can play games, and Stadia Games and Entertainment is a place where uh, developers work on making first-party titles for Stadia, none of which we have received so far. We've had some games published by Stadia Games and Entertainment, but we haven't had any games that have actually been made by Stadia at this point. Now, they said that they are basically scuttling all of that stuff, except for anything that is in the near future. Uh, so maybe we still might get some first-party stuff from Google, but most of that stuff is gone. Why do I not think that this is the end of the world? Well, th the reason why I don't think that this is... It's definitely a big deal, don't get me wrong. But the reason that I don't think that this is the end of the world is because we I've been having a blast on Stadia for more than a year now, and we haven't gotten any of those games yet. We've gotten a lot of third-party stuff, and that's what they have said that they're going to be doing. They're going to be focusing on partnering with other publishers and bringing other games to Stadia. And maybe they've just decided that they're going to get a bigger return on their investment by bringing other publishers' games to Stadia. And I think that that's definitely a possibility. Now, one of the reasons that I was so excited for Google Stadia was the cloud-native games, the things that could be done on Stadia that can't be done anywhere else. And with this um, development, it's, it's definitely, I won't say less likely to happen, but it's going to take longer before that actually takes place. At least that's how I view it. Because it's a big ask to get a third party to sign on with platform-specific features or platform-exclusive features because that means that they then can, can't port that game to other platforms in the future. Let's also talk about other platforms. One of the things that they said in, uh, in this blog post was that they would be working with other publishers to help them sell their games directly to the consumer. Now, there's a couple of different ways that you could take that. You could take that as you can buy the game on, uh, we'll say Square Enix. You can buy the game on like Final Fantasy 17. You can buy that on Square Enix's website from Square Enix and play it on their website. You could also just say you can buy it on their website and then play it through Stadia's website or on your Chromecast Ultra or something like that. But another way that you could take it is perhaps you could buy that game from a publisher on another platform. Say, maybe the Nintendo Switch. So, for instance, perhaps you could go on the Nintendo Switch and we all know that like the latest Final Fantasy games, they're usually graphics powerhouses. They're not going to run very well on the Nintendo Switch. It's a pretty underpowered platform, even ignoring all of the rumors about the Switch Pro. It's a pretty under underpowered platform. So porting games to that platform is very, very difficult, which is why we've seen cloud versions of games on the Nintendo Switch, like Control, like Resident Evil, like Fantasy Star Online. We've seen cloud games on the Nintendo Switch before. And being able to uh, uh, use Stadia's proven technology to sell games directly to the consumer, I think that that might be the way that Stadia can move forward. Perhaps you can buy Madden 2021 on your phone, directly through the App Store. And then, 
people could just use Stadia as a delivery mechanism. What does this say for everybody who's invested money into the Stadia ecosystem? I think we're all going to be fine. I think Google is going to continue to bring third-party games. In fact, I think we will probably end up at the end of the day with more third-party games because the team at uh, Stadia Games and Entertainment, while some of them will lose their jobs, and that is terrible that that's happening, while some of them will lose their jobs, others will be redirected in perhaps helping to port third-party games to the platform. Hey, we want to bring our game to Stadia, but we just don't have the manpower to do it. Good news. We have the manpower to do it, and we already know what we're doing because we built this system. That's definitely a possibility. Perhaps Google was investing tons of money into first-party development, and now they can take that money and go to a publisher and say, hey, we would love it if you would bring your game to Stadia. So instead of trying to entice us with exclusives, they can just expand the gaming market by giving a, a whole group of people who don't have boxes under their TVs or fancy computers access to games that they otherwise wouldn't be able to play. I think that's a possibility too. It's also a possibility that this is the beginning of the end. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. This is a real possibility. And of course, you are going to see headline after headline and YouTube video after YouTube video of people decrying that this is the end of Stadia. And all of those YouTubers are going to be like, I told you so, because they, they wanted the clicks, right? And so they were super negative. And now they're going to say, I told you so. And maybe they did tell us so, and maybe they're right. But I don't think that they are. Anyway, these are my thoughts on it. It took me a while to figure out how I was going to say it. So that's why I had that like hour and a half stream. Again, there's a link in the description down below if you want to hear me meander around this topic for a longer period of time and respond to the things that chat said. Uh, but I figured I wanted to put out something that was a little more succinct, a little more contained, and uh, a little more well thought out. Of course, I found out this information a couple of hours ago, and I'm sure that my thoughts on this will change over time as I have more time to consider it. If you wanna know more of my thoughts in the future, make sure that you click on the buttons down below. It really does help. And you'll get notified next time that we either go live with a stream or I post a new video. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.